Look, bitch, I'm dumb. Look, man, you stupid ass up, man. Give me, man, look, pass the weed, man. Give me the gun. I'ma show you. Look, bitch, I'm dumb. You know, yeah. Fucking law. law. I'm a real nigga, street nigga. What the fuck you mean? Uh, pussy nigga, want to smoke the roll. Oh, say gang, we back with another one, bro. Before we get this video started, bro, I'm gonna say this, bro. RP Keys, boy, I know I say that a lot, but I gotta, you know, show. I gotta show my respect, bro. I feel like if I do a video to King Bond, say, I can't just do a video to this man. Music or anything dealing with this man without saying that, you heard me? But without further ado, you heard me? Everybody get straight in there, you heard me? Seven bodies of King Bond story. Now, hey, the brother got seven bodies, bro. The brother was cutting up, you heard me? Hey, the brother got seven heads, you heard me? But hey, look, if you new to the channel, say, come rock out with gang. It's that simple. Gang, you already know it's popping. Real spit of gang shit, you heard me? We about to hop in. If this that simple, let's get it. Let's go. Let's see what the brother. Let's see what they talking about, you ever they get it? Man, that shit sounded like weird. Like, what's the horror movie type shit? That's, a, that's some horror movie type shit right there. Damn, I got a lot of fun. Hey, folks. What's going on, DJ? They know. The better say in our head, I got a lot of fun. Don't stop. He said, and I had a lot of bodies. He started laughing like. Just free, how many y'all think? Hey, gang. Hello. What y'all think? Oh, y'all think this is that long cap? More in the crowd. Hello, everyone. I wasn't going to release this video. I started on this video back in February of this year. After watching the video, I knew I couldn't upload it. It was too. Raw for YouTube and I don't indulge in rabbit. That's not what drugstore represents. Drugstore films and drugstore music is strictly for the street. We don't expose our people. This will be my final video about the late great rapper King Von. May God have mercy on his soul. Von needed help. It's obvious that he suffered from mental issues. No. His heart was in a good place. He had love for everyone but his ops. He was very loyal to his friends and had the heart of gold. He helped elderly people, family, friends. He didn't turn his back on anyone in his circle. And you hear what he said? He said he was loyal to everybody, but his ops, you hear me? And, and I sit back and really, like, as I, like, when King Boy died, Boy, I'm gonna lie. I really sit there and really started, like, searching him up, because I ain't really listened to him like that, but, like, I like it a couple of his songs, but, like, I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really bumping him like that, you heard me? I still don't really bump him like that. But I like as he when he died, I started like to look at like, you know, check him out type shit. And um, the media really like painting the brother to be like a, a killer, like he just didn't have no heart, like he just was a, a savage 24, 24 7 type shit, you heard me? And the and, and the brother was a, he really wasn't like that, like and I'm not even saying this cause he did, but I'm just speaking the real shit, you heard me? The brother had he had love, you know what I'm saying? If in, if anybody Come up, you know what I mean? You're a rapper. If you just come up doing anything, you feel me? And you go back and show love to your partners where you come from, you feel me? And you ain't had that to do type shit. Like, that's love, you know what I mean? Like, most people were like, you know what I'm saying? They'll get on in these days, like, you know what I'm saying? They'll get popping and making a little money. And they'll be like, man, fuck everybody. Like, I'm straight, you know what I mean? But I fuck, I fuck with that. That was some real shit, though. He ain't had that to do. Let's get it that good. This documentary was made to save lives. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Thanks. There's no escaping karma. You receive what you dish out. Thanks. I'd like to send my condolences out to all eight families that's involved with this documentary. It's truly a sad situation. Everything that I'm about to tell you all was meant to be told to the public, Von bragged, about having bodies till he was killed. On November 20th, 2012, King Von tweeted that he had murdered five people and shot ten. He man. was only 18 years old at the time. Bro. This was just a year after friends. This man murdered five people and allegedly shot ten. Bro, that's 15, that's 15 people, son. This man injured, bro. I'm going to say that allegedly, bro, because I don't know. I'm not from Chicago, you heard me? I'm just going by what the video is saying, bro. This man injured... 
10 people, you hear me? And shot five. <laughs> bro, it's not funny, bro, but this shit crazy, bro. And I sit back and analyze this shit. Like, brother really was, the brother really was cutting up. Like, you hear me? But let's get it, man. This shit weird as hell, bro. And the two were killed. On August 9th, 2012, King Von witnessed a guy by the name of 50 Shots shooting his close friend, White White. Police witnessed the shooting oh, as well. When son. officers approached 50 so Shots. Wait, wait, bro. So I'm not going to do no pausing, bro. I did the reaction to the being of black, son. That, um, when you like smoking out, they say something about White White, you hear me? That, that, that song he dropped, man. So y'all know what I'm talking about, bro. That's crazy, bro. The way he said that shit, bro. They really disrespectful as fuck, bro. Like, that shit he crazy. He fire on the officers. 50 shots was apprehended. Charged with murder and two attempted murders. King Von said in the song Demon from his debut album, Welcome to a Block. When White White got killed, I seen it. I was right there, still can't believe it. That turned me into a demon. Me and Tiroy was scheming. According to Von, he snapped after witnessing White. White get murdered. Him and Tiroy was now ready to kill. Joining a gang is like joining the army. You're training to kill people, even a coward. But join the army and become a killer after getting brainwashed. Some soldiers just do what they have to do to survive. Some soldiers just do what they told and some soldiers just overdo it. Bun was a soldier that overdid it. James Johnson, a.k.a. T-Roy, grew up in Parkway Gardens. He jumped off the porch at an early age. T-Roy was known to be a shooter. He allegedly went on multiple hits with O.D. Perry. Between 2010 and 2011, some called T-Roy the heart of O Block. He allegedly shot FBG Doug. Back in 2013, no, huh? there's a video of T-Roy shooting at his ops for walking past O Block. He only stood 5 foot 3, weighed around 120 pounds. T-Roy and King Von were close friends. On April 28, 2012, T-Roy allegedly murdered Marlon Monroe, a.k.a. Doc from STLEBT Monroe, had just left work and walked down the block to a convenience store. He never made it. Inside the shop, a gunman passing by sprayed bullets onto the corner, striking Monroe. It wasn't until hours later that Monroe's body was discovered. A 16-year-old relative who was in a rush trying to make curfew was crossing through the abandoned lot when he found Monroe's lifeless corpse in the 6300 block of South St. Lawrence Avenue. That's tough. Some say the King Von was with T-Roy on that hit. If that's true, then that would be body. Number two for King Von. Although T-Roy get the credit for that body, Von was allegedly there to assist. On December 3, 2011, 16-year-old Dale Fisher had just left a recreational center run by the city's ceasefire organization when he was gunned down in Chicago's West Woodlawn neighborhood. Witnesses tell the police the attack happened around 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon as the teen and his friend walked near 62nd and South St. Lawrence Avenue. Friends say the two were headed to a corner store to buy a bag of potato chips when a two-door silver car pulled up. A gunman leaned out and opened fire, striking Dale in the Bro. several times. The other bro, this is this this sit back and really imagine that shit, bro. Like, you going to the store, brother, you gonna buy your bag of chips, you know what I mean? And you gonna buy your probably a cold drink or a little juice or something, brother. And somebody pull up on you inside a car, like on the side of you, bro, and pull up things off, bro. Like and I and a lot of that shit, but I wonder what I wonder what like I wonder what people be thinking that that would really experience that type of shit, bro. Like, that shit is crazy, bro. Hey, get it, man. Damn, son. The brother don't be killing like you on Call of Duty or something in Chicago. That was only the beginning. King Von was a demon before witnessing his friend White White. That killed. Von allegedly became obsessed with going out on hits after Dale was murdered. 
The ops knew who murdered Dale and they wanted revenge. That's when King Bond's name began, ringing bells throughout the Woodlawn area. In Chicago, killing at an early age is common. Some kids begin killing at the age of 12, King. Bond, on the other hand, didn't start getting into trouble until high school. Some city, he spoiled Rodden. Even after his father's death, his mother still kept him in nice clothes. Bond wasn't a drug dealer. Sometimes to make money, him and his friends broke in. People houses and stole valuable items. He was once arrested and had to serve months in boot camp. Right? You want clothes too. But on my kids, you want to claim the weak city when we was going to have park either. King Bond comes from the killer word 078YKN Black Disciple set, although Old Lock is his main set. However, the fact that killer word 078 was not his main set will not prevent him from participating in the war between YKN and G Bill. At killer word 078, King Bond will be close. The J Lo, for example, killed a few years ago but he was not even a gang member. You should also know that at one time, brawls, giant fights between two or more sets, were still trendy. Even if today we know King Bond's reputation as a rowdy even back then, the rapper was always in the front row to fight against the members of G-Bill. Before OD get killed, King Bond will start hanging out indirectly with FBG Doug, FBG, Dutchie and Butter. Indeed, oh, no. a member of the 078. So King Bond hanging out with FBG Doug, that friend? That's crazy, but I, I do know somebody me like, like looking at the Chicago shit, bro. I do know like, um, Wooski Butter and um. King Vaughn, King Whiskey Brother and King Vaughn Brother, they was cool, you heard me? They got locked, locked up together type shit, you heard me? Say, in that rap thing, in that, in that, in that, in that, y'all already know what y'all out there, too. Y'all let me know in the comment section, bro. But, man, y'all be really cutting up out there, brother. It's just that simple. Y'all, man, y'all be cutting up. was at school with members of STLN, and a relationship was established between them. As a result, King Vaughn, FBG Duck, Dutchie, and Brother hung out together without That's anything crazy, happening bro. since they shared the same friends. However, there was one exception. When FBG Butter jumped on King Bond after school, one day, this was the last time they were together. It was time for Bond to choose one side. Man. He could no longer represent two gangs. A young King Bond chose Wick City. This was around 2009. Around this time, King Bond began hanging out in Parkway Gardens every day. His cousins, Boss Top and E Dog, are from there. Bun became close friends with Chief Keefe, J Money, O.D., Barry, T. Roy, among others. Wooski was living in Parkway Gardens at the time as well, but he wasn't a black disciple. Wooski's older brother Mike was a loyal member of Lake City and close friends with O.D. Perry. Wooski was a gangster disciple, but he hung out with the young Lake City members, Wooski's. Other big brother fella was a member of Lake City as well. Fella was killed in 2007 by a gangster disciple. Mike wanted Wooski to become a black disciple for that reason, but an 11 years old Wooski refused to switch gangs. Around this time, O.D. Perry was the heart of Wick City. He was known for shooting. He allegedly shot more than five people. O.D. was one of the first young members in Wick City to put in work. In 2009, he allegedly murdered a guy by the name of Jeremy Marshall, a.k.a. Lil 4. Lil 4 was a gangster disciple from Jero set that motivated the other young members of Wig City to kill. OD protected everyone in Parkway Gardens. He was loved by everyone who lived there. That's tough. Man, see, we gonna get on part two, so we gonna break this down. This video is like 40, 41, 44, 41 minutes long, buddy, you heard me? Is y'all want part two, buddy? Y'all let me know, you heard me? I just probably do part two, bro, because it's like, this shit, like, it's really like looking at this, bro, and it's crazy, it's like, that shit really, inst like, you know what I'm saying, really into that shit, you hear me? Like, it's crazy, like, how, how Wooski and King Vaughn, brother, they was cool type shit, you hear me? And King Vaughn used to hang out with FBG Duckman, you hear me? And it came to this situation, now in these days and ages, bro, 
Man, that shit crazy, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section, man. This shit wild, bro. If y'all want part two, man, y'all let me know, man. Real spit of game shit, man. I'm cool as hell, man. Let's get it, let's go. I bought a Honda and then came from home. Came Kong. from home. Cast up on my body. Don't make me catch up. Don't make me catch up. I'm a nigga. We'll be cool. Don't shoot the party. A hundred goons with me.